Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete update of your forecast on our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you got anything in the way of weather reports, please drop them into the comments section. Current conditions right here, forecast for today right here, and I, the forecast into later on tonight down here. Website and all the icons up there showing various amounts of social media that you can go take a look at so please drop by and see what you can find out there at wreg.com slash weather taking a look at the forecast into the next several hours lots of sunshine to start things off but we'll be looking for more chances as you can see again right here with that 20 percent chance way on over there on the right hand side by the ams seal of approval we'll be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the rest of the day today and that again is where we're going to be seeing some problems you can see that right now into the area for later on this afternoon by lunch time into parts of the Mid-South, we may see again the potential of a few showers and thunderstorms developing along with more clouds, kind of breezy, not doing too bad out there, and looking again at more chances of showers and thunderstorms in the next few days. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Rhodes College from the Memphis metro area, central Memphis, on the weather underground system showing a few more clouds drifting on through uh, early on the Thursday morning hours, but otherwise not doing too bad. Germantown also seeing some of those clouds out there in the distance, and and temperatures mainly back into the mid to upper 60s so far early on Thursday morning. Winds out of the south at about 8 miles per hour or so. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures not, again, doing too bad for this time of the year. We'll be back in the lower to mid 70s by News Channel 3 Live at 9. Spotty chances of showers begin to pop up into the mid-south as we get into later on this afternoon and into this evening. So taking the kids to school today, probably not going to see much rainfall out there. But later on today, more chances of showers and thunderstorms begin to pop up and that could mean a couple of mad dashes from the school to the car rider line later on and also into around rush hour later on today could be the potential of some showers and thunderstorms taking place in parts of the area not a widespread threat not a washout so outdoor activities you should be able to get things taken care of but once again remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder you are within range of getting struck by lightning you need to get back indoors again not when you're done with whatever you're doing not when you feel like it you need to get back indoors immediately so some Something to think about there as you head throughout the rest of your day. Rest of the afternoon into this evening, little if anything really popping up. Most of the activity back to the north of us, but by early tomorrow morning could be some stray showers and thunderstorms firing back up once again, and more activity expected into the rest of Friday. So more widespread showers and thunderstorms expected throughout the rest of the day today and right on into Friday, and then it could be a very soggy Saturday coming up. Severe threat at this time is going to be again a marginal threat in the area shaded in bright green, mainly in northeast Arkansas, back into northwestern Tennessee into later on today. Threat for severe weather tomorrow is for all the Mid-South. That's that marginal risk once again. Main threat for tomorrow will be well back to our west, into Oklahoma, western Arkansas, northern parts of Texas. That's where we could see, again, the potential for some severe weather there. Now, that threat will work its way down the Mid-South area, down into around portions of middle Mississippi. That marginal threat, the borderline possibility of severe weather will be along and south of I-40 by Saturday. It's also into Saturday that we see the potential of stronger weather where it comes to rainfall today. Isolated activity, that's mainly going to be it. More clouds, more rainfall into tomorrow. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. Even cooler for Saturday. Widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms. So if you have any plans for outdoors on Saturday, this is going to be a potential problem. A lot of Earth Day stuff coming up. Uh, March for Science activities going on. You're going to be seeing more of that happening out there. And again, that isolated possibility of severe weather, we can't rule that out either. Chances of rain dwindle early on Sunday, and things look beautiful after that. Temperatures back in the lower 70s to mid to upper 60s, so quite pleasant conditions across much of the Mid-South area there. Don't forget to pick up our weather app. It'll help you stay up to date on what's going on with the weather across the Mid-South. Go to whatever app store you've got and search WRE e.g. weather for more and great opportunity to learn more about what's happening with the forecast there. Also, don't forget about my forecast coming up bright and early this morning, starting just a little while on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Bob and Josh on with Talk Back Live, sports chat extraordinaire from the Mid-South area. A lot of great guests on there Monday through Friday morning, 7 to 9 a.m. And also, don't forget, you can catch me on all of these and all of those as they come up there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, WordPress, Tumblr, uh, see what else, Google Plus, 
uh, Periscope and SoundCloud. As soon as I figure out how to get it on Game Boy, I'll let you know about that. I've got to go out here and finish up the rest of News Channel 3 Daybreak on air, so join me for more on that. Stay tuned for the forecast on Live at 9, News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim have your forecast on First at 4 later on this afternoon and following. And, of course, I'll have more updates on astronomy information that will be coming up a little bit later on today on our astronomy blog called Sky Blog 3. More on that coming up a little bit later so you can tell a little bit more about what you can see. Even if you can't see any stars tonight, stay tuned for more on that because we had a great launch this morning of two more astronauts to the space station and a lot more going on here in the Mid-South that you can participate in coming up a little later. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.